It was a long time ago. There was a beautiful and peaceful village, which everyone knew as Shantipur. In this village lived a wise and respectable Buddhist monk named Vasudama. He was famous throughout the village for his wisdom and compassion. Vasudama always kept teaching people about the truths of life and the power of words. One day a young man from the village named Dewal, who was known for his bitter and harsh words. Dewal often got angry, and in anger, he used to say bad things to anyone without thinking. Many people had been hurt by his words, but he had no idea about this. Vasudama came to know about this, and he called Dewal to his ashram. When Dewal came, Vasudama welcomed him with a smile and said, Dewal, I want to tell you a story. Dewal nodded and said, Yes, Guruji, please tell. Vasudama started saying, A long time ago, a farmer lived in a small village. He was very hardworking and honest. One day a small incident happened to him, which changed his whole life. Dewal's eyes lit up with curiosity, and he started listening carefully. Vasudama further said, One day the farmer was working in his field. Then a passerby passed by there. He was tired. He plucked mangoes from the mango tree in the farmer's field and ate them and started resting in the shade of the tree. The farmer started abusing the passerby after seeing him in his field. While leaving, the passerby said to the farmer, your words will have an effect on you only. The farmer felt very bad about this, but he did not take it seriously. Time passed and the farmer's crops started getting spoiled gradually. The farmer became very upset and he thought that all this was happening because of the curse of that passerby. He set out to find the passerby. After traveling for many days, the farmer found the passerby and started apologizing to him. The passerby smiled and said, It is not my curse, but your own words that have caused this. The negativity and anger in your words have created a negative energy around you, which is adversely affecting your life. The farmer then realized how big an impact his words can have. He apologized to the passerby and promised to speak his words thoughtfully. Slowly, his crops started growing well again and his life became normal. Devil took a deep breath and looked at Vasudama. Guruji, do you mean to say that my words can have the same effect? Vasudama said patiently, Yes, Thuvel, your words have immense power. They not only affect others, but also have a profound impact on your own life. If you use your words correctly, they can spread love, peace, and positivity. But if you use them with negativity and anger, they can bring suffering and misery to your life and to others. Thuvel thought and then slowly said, Guruji, I have understood. I will try to use my words correctly. Vasudama smiled contentedly and said, This is an important step for your life, Thuvel. Remember, the power of words is amazing. They can win or break people's hearts. Learn to use them thoughtfully and with compassion. Thuvel touched Vasudama's feet and took his blessings and resolved that he would always be careful of his words. He started practicing controlling his anger and speaking thoughtfully. Slowly, his life started changing. His relationships started improving and people started giving him respect and love. Vasudama felt proud looking at Thuvel and thought how beautiful and peaceful this world could be if every person understood the power of their words and used them correctly. By realizing the power of words, Thuvel changed his life in a positive direction and made a new beginning. This story teaches us that words have amazing power. They are not just sounds, but they have emotions, thoughts, and energy behind them. The right words spoken at the right time can do magic. On the other hand, the wrong words can harm not only others, but also ourselves. That is why we should always use our words thoughtfully and with compassion. In this way, the story of Vasudama and Naval taught the people of Shantipur an important lesson about the power of words. Everyone together resolved that they would use their words correctly and make their village a better and peaceful place. And thus, by recognizing the power of words, 
a wave of happiness. Peace and love swept across the village. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the story of Vasudama and Dewal, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more motivational stories and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Share this video with your friends and family to spread the message of the power of words. And leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. See you in the next video. And remember, your words can make a difference.